Well, there's no question that hotels downtown and around Indiana have taken a major beating over the last several months. They're hoping this reopening will be the start of turning that around. Just over 100 days ago, about 600 people worked here at the JW Marriott in downtown Indianapolis. As of now, that's down to only a handful of people. It has been frustrating between all that's happened over this last 100 plus days. Um, and we still, you know, we know there's some still challenging times ahead. While some downtown hotels like the Hilton, Hyatt, and Omni have managed to stay open through the COVID-19 crisis, the JW Marriott suspended all operations in March. But as this light-up display says, it's back open July 9th. Hotel manager Phil Ray says staff rehiring is underway, but... It's going to be a slow process, we believe, based on the business levels, but we're going to probably be maybe about 25 to 30 percent of our staff will be back initially as we get our legs underneath us. According to Visit Indy, coronavirus has cost Indianapolis hotels about 90 percent of their business and put an estimated 40,000 people in the hospitality industry out of work. No one's done anything wrong here, and, but um, the reality of missing a paycheck is immediate. Ray says there have been some positive signs in the last couple weeks. We're having a lot of sports teams. There's a basketball tournament that's going on here at the convention center this weekend, which is our first major event. So that's driving some business. Guests at the JW will notice sanitizer stations, plexiglass shields, remote controls wrapped in plastic, and other precautions against coronavirus. Visit Indy is also offering 50% off room rates for Hoosiers to encourage in-state travel ahead of the Indy 500 in August. Our hope is that will be kind of the kind of the, the planting the flag in the ground and saying, okay, we're we're really back open now. And again, the JW Marriott is booking rooms right now, starting for this Thursday. If you want to read more about their health and safety plans, you'll find that attached to this story on our website. From downtown Indy, Zach Myers, Fox 59 News.